Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing the Tan Lines tag, my first ever tag I'm doing here. And I was tagged Beauty by Kylie TV, and she tagged me to do this video, and so I'm going to do it for you all. And if you see it's a little different, like here, it's sort of messy back there, and I'm sorry about that. I'm redoing my room right now, so just things are everywhere. We're getting new stuff in, taking stuff out. It's going to be painted soon, so a lot of people have been asking for a vanity tour and a room tour, and that will be coming hopefully by the end of the summer when I get this done. And so, yeah, there's 15 questions, and it's all about summer, and even though my summer is halfway over already, I thought I'd still do it. So we're just going to get started. Okay, the first question is beach house or lake house? And I, we don't live near a beach, or there's not a beach near us. Um, we do have a lake though, but I would rather have a beach house. And number two, favorite summer hairstyle. Um, I really don't have a summer hairstyle. My hair basically just does whatever it wants to, and that's how it goes. I just get out of the shower, and then like how it air dries, I just keep it. Like today, it decided to go really curly and wavy. Or like when I get out of the pool or whatever, I just let it be how it's... Just basically, however my hair wants to be is my hairstyle for the summer. Number three, do you tan or burn? Um, I definitely tan. If I do get red, I'll get red like right here under my eyes or on my shoulders. But I've never had a sun burn where like if you touch it, like it stings or anything. I've never had that before. Um, but I sometimes get red there, but I most likely get darker. Or have you ever gotten a henna tattoo? I've never gotten one on me. We actually did an art project this past year with henna tattoos, except we did it on like an art project. We never did it on ourselves. We practiced a little on ourselves though, but I never got like a tattoo, like drew, drew it on myself like to stay, you know. So I guess no, but I've done them before. And then number five, bonfires or night swimming? I really like night swimming as long as it's not in the ocean. Um, I wouldn't night swim in the ocean because that just scares me. But we have a pool out back and I really like swimming in it. And then we have like a projector screen that we put up so we like night swim while watching a movie. That's really fun. But if it was just anywhere, like not just my pro not just a, like my pool I would do it in. But if it was just anywhere, I'd be scared so I would have to choose bonfires. And also I love s'mores because uh, I put cookies in my s'mores. Like I'll put Oreos into my like actual s'more or like like different types of chocolate and different type colors of graham crackers and marshmallows like I make them all decked out and then I've made like s'more cookies and s'more ice cream before and I just love s'more so I'm gonna have to pick bonfires probably and then number six if you could travel anywhere over the summer where would it be and why and I would probably want to choose Europe because I've never left the United States and if I did leave I would want to go to Europe for like a few weeks or whatever um, because that just, it seems so fun. I think Europe would be just an amazing place to go. And why also? Because, like, I'm a big foodie. I love my food. So, I, and I love Italian and French food. So I would want to go to Italy and get, like, real spaghetti and, like, pizza and go to France and get, like, real baguettes and macaroons and, oh, it'd be so amazing. Seven bikinis, tankinis, or one-piece bathing suits. Um, if it's just like my family, me, or my friends or something, I'll wear a bikini because I just like them. They're really easy to put on and you can get a good tan in them and stuff. But if I'm like with people that I don't really know that much, I'll just wear a cute tankini. Like I got one from American Eagle for this year and it's still really cute, yet it's a tankini. So it's not as like showing as a bikini. Number eight, summer makeup must-haves. Um, okay, so I have these three that is basically the only thing I wear in the summer. That is BB cream. If you know me, you watched any of my favorite videos, favorites videos, or most of my videos in during the summer, I use BB cream just because it's so easy. And it has, most of them have SPF in it. So I like, if I'm just doing nothing really around, during the day, like this can just be my sunscreen. So I love BB cream. And then I guess waterproof mascara could be one just because swimming and you want to wear mascara. It should probably be waterproof so it doesn't smear and get everywhere. And then just one that's like a must. Like if I couldn't wear any makeup at all, just like chapstick, it'd be the good old baby lips because some of these have SPF 20 in them, which is good to protect your lips. They smell amazing. They give a little bit of color. This is the one I'm wearing today. And, um, they are amazing. Okay, number nine. Hottest it's been over the summer where you live. Um, 
this year it's been actually sort of cold it's actually been raining for the past like two weeks straight so hasn't been very hot but I think the hottest it got this year was like in the 90s somewhere but where I live it can get really hot so in the past years I know it's gone up to like 100 105 like around there but this year it hasn't been very hot and then number 10 do you play any sports over the summer and I guess I do. I do dance private lessons, sometimes dance camp, and I play volleyball in the fall, at least this year I am, so we would have volleyball practices and volleyball camp and stuff like that, but I don't like have specific sport times and things, like soccer practice every Tuesday or you know, whatever, um, but we do a lot of active stuff in my family over the summer, like hiking and tubing and wakeboarding and stuff like that, so I guess it's sort of like a sport, but not like a soccer specific practices. Just like some camps and lessons every now and then. And then, 11, have you ever had a summer fling? No, no thank you. Okay, 12, number one thing on your summer bucket list. Okay, so it was going to the beach, but we already went there. So now it's probably, I guess just do like YouTube. Get like so many subscribers or get more videos up for you guys and stuff or actually okay my thing on my summer bucket list I just thought of this is to get my room done because I really want to get this done before school starts mm, long hair or short hair over the summer um probably long hair I had short hair when I was little but now I just prefer long hair on me and I think long hair is really, per per little, really pretty because you can like have it all beach waved and stuff like that and just let it go crazy with my long hair I just say go easy hassle free like I as I said earlier it just does what it wants to so it's pretty easy still so I just prefer long hair 14 do you wear makeup while at the pool beach or lake and sometimes I do it just depends how I'm feeling that day what I did before what I'm doing after but if I do I usually just wear these three things like or just mascara the last question is worst summer memory and this took me a while to think about because I don't really have a lot of bad summer memories. Usually summers are just really nice and relaxing and fun. But I did have I do have this one summer memory from last year and it was terrible. It hurt so bad. Okay, so I'll tell it real quickly. Um okay, so my cousins were coming in. This was last July. My yeah, my cousins and my grandmother, they were flying in and my mom went to go pick them up at the airport. And I was home with my brother, and my mother asked me, we have one chicken. And so she asked me to go let it out or let it in or something, so I went outside. But while I was out there, I was barefoot, because I'm always barefoot. I stepped on a piece, like, really long, twisted, rusted chicken wire. And it got stuck in my foot, so I just, like, fell to the ground and started crying. And it hurt so bad. It was so terrible. And then my brother comes out, and he brings me the phone, so I call mom and tell her what happened. And, but she's like trying to get, so we're, she, me and my brother are trying to get it out of my foot, like with pliers and stuff till my mom comes. But every time like the wind would blow or like I would move my foot a little, the wire would sort of like bend a little in, into my foot, like make the hole bigger, if that makes sense. It's really disgusting, I know. Um, but, and it would hurt so bad and oh, so okay, I'm sitting there. My brother brings some water for me and stuff. We call my mom and she's like, talking me through it like sitting there talking to me while I'm crying like in the middle of my yard but she and then she doesn't get home she won't be home for another 30 minutes so I just sat in my yard like crying with this wire in my foot for 30 minutes until my cousins and grandmother got home and then my mom took me over to the pool and we sort of got put it in the pool and sort of like wedged it out in the water and things and it didn't hurt as bad as when we were using the pliers but it was terrible I hated it. We thought I was going to have to get a tetanus shot maybe because it was like a rusty old wire, but I didn't have to, which is thankful because as I said, I hate sh shots and sharp objects. And so yeah, that was probably my worst summer memory I can think of now. It's sort of bad to end this video on a bad note like that, but that is the tan lines tag. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.